I was thinking of doing like a super clickbaity title, like losing millions of dollars because of junk Chinese machine, or one part loses me much money all in capital. Boom, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But the reality is, I have broken the first thing, real thing on my sale, and it is the cycle start button. Probably because I was too nervous while still pressing it in the beginning. So it's a part by Schneider. It's really easy and I'm going to show you how to replace it. I emailed Sale and said like, what's the button? And I said, oh, it's just Schneider and they gave an article number. And I could find it on the Arizon line, which was great. And uh, here we have it, and it was like fifteen dollars, twenty euros to have it shipped here, and I had it within sixteen hours or something like that. So that's awesome, really great. That even though you have a Chinese machine, it still uses European parts. So the machine is turned off, but I am gonna uh, pull out the plug because I have to go inside the cabinet. So this is the button that's actually broken. It wasn't really a problem. It was cracked for a long time. Uh, but then I had one once where it kept pushed in and then I had my off-stop on and it wanted to cycle again to the next cycle and was like no, 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 that's not good. So the buttons here, one and a half year, I am using Blazer Synergy, so maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, and apparently I have to remove those four screws, but it's a nice side uh, look inside the controller. So here you have an actual look inside the LNC 6800 controller. Um, so I've been de-assembling this one. It's actually a lot simpler than I thought it would. There is here a lever. If you pull that one, the old button comes out. So now I'm going to put in the new one. Put the arrow here. Then. Click. Oh, well, it's already it's already in so now I have to reinsert this cable and I can put there is a jig in here which is impossible to no it's not impossible if I turn this screw I'll put tension on the uh, this block and then it will set itself then it's uh, quickly secure now it's in and if I pull this lever I have the button out again so it's actually a really simple system from Schneider and it's really good from Sil that they're using these kind of components. There we have it. One a broke button, one fixed button. It's like a 10 minute job and uh, it's super easy because you can just Google uh, the Schneider assembly on YouTube. Super easy. Very nice that the button is now restored, so I'm gonna mail more titanium knives. I have an upcoming fair, and uh, well, I've been recently very busy with a lot of things. I've been making like heaps and heaps of parts for uh, cases. So these are covers, uh, these are cases, these are the pieces that go in there. So uh, that's a lot of sanding left. Then I had some orders for uh, different knives, so I fear buckets with uh, cases for original knives like this um, in here it's a bit of a mess it's always a mess I never clean up this room but uh, this was a nice project so I want to plane uh, this plank out of that that wood supply not the scrap heap here but to plane that plank uh, my gears kept turning, so the gantry of the plane wasn't straight. So I sorted that out, sort of fixed it for metal gears, and then it didn't work. And then <laughs> screwed it apart, broken driver belt. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. So 
let's take this box as well because I have been busy recently. Uh, you might have noticed that the, well, nobody noticed, but the original knife, like the knife I started with eight years ago, back in my uh, family's oyster fishing shed, which is this model. So the original is that model and it's been improved a lot over the last few years. And this is a Yakumina and that's another original one. I sold a lot of originals once and it was a limited edition of 50 pieces and I'm sold out. So now I have to do a redesign because I'm going to make Mark II. It's going to be epic, nice uh, new pivots, a bit more on the CNC, crisper engravings, different materials like a pearl white. Yeah, really looking forward to that. And these knives, they're like almost finished. Then I can ship those. So this one goes to Canada. Those two go to, those two go to Canada. This one goes to the United States. So there is a lot of things in play, uh, a lot of things that we've been doing uh, and now I'm going to switch the style over to titanium because I really need to get my stock of Yigos back because I'm, I'm, I'm completely sold out. So I just finished this nice little engraving on the laser engraver. I really love it that I can personalize my knives for my customers. Uh, sales have been running great again. It was a three or four weeks since I did the last titanium knife so it was a bit exciting. But that process is completely dialed down and I love that machine. So that was my short update for this month. Really crushing it. Got in some new t-shirts, uh, got some new uh, work shorts delivered, uh, working on the new knife. Um, yeah, preparing for Christmas. So thank you very much for everything and see you on the next video.